So I'm back here today with my beautiful Lexus SE400. It's a 1992. And today I'm going to be going over some of the reasons why you should consider purchasing one of these cars. Let's get started. So for a 27 year old vehicle, this thing has held up extremely well on the outside. The paint is all original. The body panels are straight, completely stock. And you can see just how sleek and stylish this car is. I get quite a few people asking me what year it is and they're surprised to find out that it's a 92. Again, for 27 year old vehicle, you can see how well it is held up in styling over those 27 years. Just looking at it from the outside, of course, we can see how nice it looks. I love this car. Everything works on this beauty. Plus it has a sunroof, moonroof, and the leather interior, 27 year old interior here, has held up immaculately. You can see how clean and fresh these leather seats are. I mean, there's no cracking or anything in here. The back seats. And I'll show you where the seats usually crack here in the back. This has none of that. This leather is held up amazing for how old this vehicle is. Power telescoping and tilting steering wheel. Power seats for the driver and passenger with lumbar support for the driver's seat. This one has the original integrated telephone from 1992 that actually still works. Enough room to seat four grown adults. Plenty of trunk space with a 12 disc CD changer. The power plant, a beautiful Toyota 4 liter 1UZFE. It's a V8 and it makes 250 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque. The reliability under the hood has been quite amazing. The only thing I've done so far under the hood here is put a new battery in. Um, you can see where it was taped for a trickle charger before because uh, they didn't drive it often. Um, the other thing is is that I have a bad power uh, steering lines down here, uh, high pressure and return line. It's under 100 bucks for the parts. I can do the labor myself, very straightforward. Um, all the lines, I checked all the lines. Everything's good in this car. Um, no other leaks than power steering fluid you can see a little bit of it on there um so uh that's pretty much it just the power steering under here and the battery uh the transmission fluid you can actually check right back here which is very nice most cars these days you can't do that you have to pull a plug underneath put it on a lift so it's nice that you can uh, actually check the trans and engine oil right here from the top um Outside, other mechanical things that are going to have to be done. Uh, front rotors, I'm just going to resurface those. Straightforward and easy. Uh, the front brake pads are actually really good. Uh, the only thing is, is these rear ones are actually pretty worn down. So that's about the only thing that I'm going to do. Just resurface front and rear rotors um, and then replace the rear brake pads. And that's pretty much it mechanically for this car. Otherwise, it's been well maintained and that's all it needs. Simple things. A beautiful factory sound of the exhaust. And of course, driving this thing down the highway, this is where she really shines. The car is so smooth, yet it's stiff. It's like a mixture between a sporty and a comfort suspension. The suspension is very responsive um, to every little thing in the road that you go over. Um, and just how smooth it rides and it's just an excellent, excellent driving car. I mean, you could take these things on long long road trips I haven't done that with this one yet but I will plan on doing that here in the future and I mean I know it's gonna be an amazing ride because this thing just drives like a dream already so that's one thing that you know you 
you'll notice right away when you're getting into the car and driving it is just how nice these cars drive. As long as the suspension's not beat up, uh, the car will drive very, very nice. This car is also a classic car, and it was named Car of the Year in 1992 by Car and Driver. This car is a Toyota with the reliability of Toyota. The only thing is, it has Lexus badging. And for under three grand, you could have a beautiful, sleek V8 coupe like this beauty. Who can go wrong with that? And there's many more reasons why you should consider one of these cars for purchasing. I just named a few, I covered a few, but there's a lot more to it. Get behind a wheel of one of these and you'll see what I mean. So the car's got power, it's got style, looks newer than it is. It's held up very well over the years inside and out. Under the hood mechanically, this car has been absolutely a dream to drive and mechanically has very few um, issues. One of them being uh, power steering hoses, which is not a big issue, very cheap to fix, about a hundred bucks. Very good, really reliable car. And for the price that you can get these things for, uh, as I said, this one was under 3000 um, you can pick up one of these, you know, easily even cheaper than that, and they will last you a long time. Um, a lot of them go over 250,000 miles, no problem. I see them all the time for sale with that kind of mileage. But this one's got 111, so I really scored out on this one, especially for the condition. And it's just been a wonderful car. Just driving it on the road, it's super smooth. It just, the feedback from the steering wheel, you could feel how heavy the car is. It's got extremely heavy doors. Um, the car was just built in an era where, uh, th you know, they used quality materials before they started cheaping out as the years went on. And uh, I'm just so very fortunate to have this car in the condition it is. So if you are looking to purchase one of these vehicles, I would suggest it to you. You gotta get behind the wheel of one of these and drive it because they are so much fun. And again, the pricing and everything is just, uh, you, you just can't beat it for the price. So I wanna thank you all uh, for tuning in and that's gonna be the end of this video. Make sure that you go ahead, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing some more content forth for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.